Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. I kind of finally, I guess, for anybody that's uh, been watching this channel and waiting for my Digimon content, um, I'm now going to be starting my Digimon character discussion videos. <sighs> this is going to be about the uh, Digimon Adventure series. So this is uh, Digimon Adventure, which is the original series, and then Digimon Adventure 2.0, which is the second season. Um, I'm going to be talking, of course, about Ty, Matt, Sora, Izzy, Joe, Mimi, TK, Kari. And then Davis, Yoli, Cody, Ken, and then we'll do a video about Willis because we actually kind of learn a bit about Willis throughout the course of the uh, the movies for the most part. And one about um, Mako, who is a um, Digi Dustin that they meet during the Digimon Adventures tri Adventure Tri series um, that they made for the 20th anniversary. And then I will be talking about um, some of the other um, kind of the some of the adult Digi Dustin that we have interacted with. Um, mostly these are going to be from the Digimon Adventures Tri series. There's two um, adults there that we interact with and then the Digimon um, Last Evolution special that they did. Um, I'm gonna talk about what are the Digi Dustin that's in that. Um, and they're gonna have their own Digi, uh, their own discussions, but first we're gonna get through Ty, first of all. <laughs> um, and of course, Ty's Digi Dustin is Agumon. <laughs> and Agumon evolves from Coromon. Um, I don't really have anything else for background stuff, so we have Coromon. Um, <laughs> we'll put Coromon by the dog. We'll see what the dog thinks of Coromon. Um, Rainy is interested in Coromon. We'll see how that goes. Um, uh, so this one is of course going to be about Ty. Um, Ty of course has the Digi Crest of Courage. Um, Ty's full name is, uh, Taichi Kamiya, or, uh, Tami uh, Tamiya Kaichi. Uh, uh, and he of course, his Digi, his, uh, Digimon, uh, evolution line is, uh, Korowon, Agumon, Greymon, Metal Greymon, where Greymon, Omnimon, Omnimon, <laughs> um, Omnimon, and then there is also Omnimon Merciful Mode, which comes into play in the Digimon Adventures Tri series. And then he has Agumon Bond of Courage, which is from the Digimon Last Evolution special. Then we have um, Agumon's alternative forms that he turns into, which is Skull Greymon, which happens when he's kind of forcefully digivolved by Kai or by uh, Tai for the first time um, from Greymon. Um, that results in Ty thinking that he's being courageous, but he's really not. Um, and then we have Metal Greymon Virus Mode, which involves um, the Digimon Emperor, when uh, Agumon is forced to digivolve under the Digimon Emperor's control. Um, this is going to be an overview to a degree. I will be breaking down a few little bits about uh, Ty and Agumon and Coromon and um, Ty's relationship with the other Digi Dustin. Um, I am going through for all the videos. I am going to be starting in you know the Digimon Adventure stuff. I'm just kind of kind of go in um, chronological order for like the character's history in regards to you know this happened first chronologically, but we don't find out about it later. But I'm going to talk about it first because it builds on stuff. So. And some of the characters' history are going to be like Ties and Kari's are very much intertwined in the beginning. Matt and TK, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so the first time that Ty meets a Digimon is him and Kari interact with a Digi Egg in uh, 1995. I'm kind of just going based on dates that are on the Digimon Wikipedia or kind of just deducing based on. Um, you know, deducing based on like, okay, well, they're this age, and then they're this age, and such. So that's kind of just what I'm going on for dates. If the dates don't quite line up to what you think they are, then I'm sorry, this is just what I'm going off of. So 1995, we have Ty and Kari. This is, happens in the uh, Digimon movie that they had. Um, we have a Digi Egg that pops out of their computer one night, and it hatches into a Botamon, which is just this little flat, little black, fluffy furball thing that likes to eat. Um, and it grows into a Coromon, and Coromon um, ends up interacting with TK or with uh, Ty and Kari for a while. Um, Ty is, oh, I was trying to think like Ty's, I think like four or five in this range, and then 
no, Ty's about, um, Ty's about eight, I think, um, in this range. And then, uh, Kari is about, uh, probably three to four range, um, or so. And Ty is still very much like soccer. He's already met Sora at this point in time. Um, it's kind of implied that some of the Digi Destin know each other, some of them don't, um, when they're little kids. Um, Ty, of course, is uh, Kari's older brother. I will be going over some of uh, Ty's relationships, not just with his own family, but with the other Digi Dustin um, throughout, the, uh, throughout the overview. Um, and what ends up happening is, of course, um, Ty, you know, Koromon, that night, Koromon ends up evolving into Big Greymon. Um, Big Greymon <laughs> runs around Heightened View Terrace with Kari on its back after it kind of, you know, destroys their room. And, uh, you know, Kari is kind of the first one that interacts with the Digimon for the most part, but Ty is, of course, very much there, and he still has his trademark goggles. Um, and, you know, so Koromon, the big Agumon, runs around Heightened View Terrace, and, you know, Ty is trying to find it. And then out of the sky appears Parrotmon. And unlike Coromon, uh, Agumon, uh, this Digimon is not nice. And it starts attacking Coromon, or it starts attacking the big Agumon. And Tai finds Kari and Agumon, and Agumon, uh, the big Agumon is protecting Kari so she doesn't get hurt. And what ends up happening is, um, the uh, Agumon then digivolves into Greymon, a very big red Greymon is what he's referred to as, because he's not the same Agumon that ends up being Tai's partner later on. Um, but he evolves into a very, very large Greymon, much bigger than a normal Greymon called Red Greymon. And he then proceeds to protect Kai and Tai and Kari from Parrotmon and, you know, fights Parrotmon. And at one point, unfortunately, he kind of gets knocked down and he is injured. And we have Ty there and he is, you know, he, he grabs Kari's whistle because, you know, Paramon's coming because he's going to try to kill Ty and Kari after he kills Greymon. And Ty, you know, I can't do it, but I don't have a whistle. Um, I, I have a whistle somewhere, but I have no idea where it ended up. Um, and, you know, you know, Ty whistles and that wakes Greymon up and he's able to, you know, he uses one of his like overpowered moves and he defeats Greymon. Or uh, Greymon, uh, Red Greymon then defeats Parrotmon. And unfortunately that results in uh, Greymon, you know, Red Greymon using up all of his power. And he kind of, I wouldn't say dies, but we see um, him and Parrotmon get, um, you know, taken back to the digital world. Um, we find out later, uh, in the original series, we find out later that this event was actually a way for, um, kind of the protectors of the digital world to find Digidestined. Um, I'm going, and we find out later that Ty and his group are not the first Digidestined. Um, we actually learn a bit about the first Digidestined a lot later in Digimon Adventure Try, but that's going to be a lot later. Um, and what ends up happening is, you know, uh, all of the, the original eight Digi Destined that are Ty and his group were all chosen in this moment because um, they're ones that all saw this event happen because we see the other kids and I'll go over that from their point of views um, in their videos. And, you know, Ty and Curry wake up that morning and Greymon is gone. Um, the next year or so, you know, Ty and Curry kind of forget about this moment. Um, the other kids kind of forget about this moment too. They sometimes just think that it's, you know, it's a, a weird dream that they all had, but they don't really know each other. Ty and Sora know each other, but there's not really the others that know each other. Um, and, you know, about the next year or so, 1996 or so, uh, Kari is about four or five and Ty wants to go play soccer, but Kari is sick. And Ty stupidly takes her with him to go play soccer. And unfortunately she gets sick enough that she has to go to the hospital. And unfortunately, you know, she, she, she has pneumonia. Uh, Kari always, uh, or at least as a kid, has seemed to always have a very weak immune system, unfortunately. And she gets very sick. She gets pneumonia, uh, pneumonia and gets taken to the hospital. And unfortunately, this results in Ty's mom slapping him uh, for his recklessness in regards to not seeming to care about Kari's safety. Um, <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then we have where we get where the series fully starts, which happens in uh, 1999 is when that starts. We have Ty and the other six first Digi Dustin that end up in uh, that are at the summer camp. Kari is not there. She had to stay home because she was sick. Um, this, of course, plays in the matters later. But Ty and the others all get whisked to the digital world when it starts to snow at their camp after they end up finding their, you know, they get their digivices. They all get whisked off to the digital world where Ty meets Coromon and all the other digi Dustin that are there meet their Digimon. And then they are all attacked by Kawagamon. Uh, Kawagamon uh yeah starts chasing all of them around gets all of the all the seven of them and their digimon cornered and all the digimon you know they tried to fight in their um i believe this is referred to as their it's not their baby it's their in training stages these are their in training stages um so like agumon or uh, koromon sunomon palmon that or um Tanamon, those are all kind of their in-training stages where they're first meet their digi guest and those all kind of not the baby forms the baby forms are like what they are when they hatch out of their digi egg these are their in-training forms and um what ends up happening is you know they you know the, all of the you know the digimon per digivolve for the first time to protect their trainer their digi destin and you know so koromon evolves into agumon for the first time and you know all the others digivolve and, you know, if they attack Kowagamon and they kind of knock it down a bit, everybody's happy. And then the cliff that they're on kind of falls in because Kowagamon just kind of attacks it and then they all fall into the water. And they are saved because of Gomamon and his fish friends. And then they end up at this beach area. Where we just have a very funny scene where there's these telephone booths and they all try calling on the telephone booths and nothing works because nobody's answering or it's like just like really weird messages on the phone booths. <laughs> like, please enter the number for your galaxy and your street and like all these other weird things like, I'm sorry, please try again in five in like, you know, three days ago or something like that. Like all these weird things that they're like on the phone booths and they're trying to figure out where they are. Some of them think that they're dreaming. Some of them are like, well, what are we supposed to do now? And then they're attacked by Shellmon, um, which is just, just pink, giant pink Digimon that comes out of the shell. And this results in Agumon Digivolving for the first time into Greymon. And Greymon then um, defeats Shellmon, which is kind of like water versus fire, but you know, it still works and uh you know so Greymon defeats Shellmon and then you know everyone's happy again and safe and then they end up traveling a bit and you know throughout this whole time you know the other digi Dustin their Digimon are digivolving you know Coromon evolves or like Agumon evolves some other times into Greymon to help fight other Digimon um each of the digi Dustin get their own moment where their Digimon digivolved and I'll go over those individually and then they end up at a, you know, their, uh, you know the, the rookie level is their, you know, is what Agumon is. Uh, the champion level is what uh, Greymon is. And then they end up at this um, kind of mansion where they are attacked by Devimon and Ogremon and kind of a uh, brainwashed, uh, manipulated uh, Leomon. And what ends up happening is, you know, De Devimon separates all the digi destined, you know, Ty goes one way, Sora goes another way, Matt goes another way, you know, everybody all gets separated. And Matt and Ogmon end up at, uh, end up on a icy area and they end up having to deal with Frigimon. And, you know, they, they you know, digi uh, all the Digimon that they've kind of been fighting, except for Devimon and Ogremon, have what are called uh, black gears in their back that are uh, making them evil and making them want to destroy the digi destin and cause problems and everything and you know throughout the course of digimon we see that you know most digimon are good but there are some that are bad but you know so we end up dealing with that at some point and ty and agumon end up interacting with frigimon and then uh they they save frigimon from the black gear and then frigimon becomes their friend and he helps them and then frigimon helps them get to matt and yeah, Ty and Matt have a very interesting um, relationship. And I'm going to talk about it a little bit here, then I'll talk about it a little bit more as it goes on and it develops. Um, we, you know, Ty's crest is the crest of courage. 
um, we'll find, uh, you know, he gets the crest of courage in a little bit. But um, Matt and Ty have kind of always had, sometimes they're on the same page, sometimes they are not. Um, Ty and Matt, because, you know, Matt's kind of problem with Ty, and this lessens a little bit, like in the uh, in Adventure 2.0, this lessens a bit, but in, in the original Adventure, it is quite still very much there. And um, Ty and Matt sometimes fight quite a bit because, you know, Matt thinks one thing is the right thing to do, Ty thinks another thing is the right thing to do. Sometimes they're perfectly on the same page, other times they're not. And this does usually involve the two of them, you know, you know, actually like rolling on the ground and like fighting each other, um, which sometimes is a little hard to watch. And the other Digi Destin kind of act like it's hard to watch as well um, when it comes to seeing kind of their, their, their kind of their leader and their second command, because Ty is very much leader of the Digi Destin and Matt's kind of like his second in command type of a thing. Um, this relationship does seem to uh, form up a little bit better, um, a little bit um, more in a, a 2.0. Um, they don't seem to have been having as many problems. Um, and by the end of the original adventure series, it's very much, oh, they're, they're very much solidified. They are best friends because Ty is Matt's best friend and vice versa. And, you know, I'll go a little bit more about Matt's side of the friendship when I talk about Matt and that'll be in the next video. Um, but, you know, so they get to, you know, they, they find, you know, they find Matt and then they end up, all the Digi Dustin end up having to fight Devimon. Um, <laughs> Devimon is not a nice Digimon. He wants to rule over the island that they're on that is called File Island. And, um, he, well, he kind of wants to rule over the whole digital world, but he's going to start with File Island. And, you know, Ty and the others all kind of combine forces at their champion levels to try to fight Devimon. Uh, but unfortunately it ends up being, uh, TK and Patamon, Patamon Digivolving into Anjumon, uh, that actually allows them to defeat Devimon. Um, and I'll go over this more in TK's video, but unfortunately Anjumon dies in the process and then he's, you know, reincarnated as a digi egg that then TK carries around for a little while and then eventually hatches and blah, blah, blah. Um, and then, you know, Ty and the others, you know, they, they beat Devimon and, you know, Ogremon kind of ran off with his, you know, tail between his legs. Uh, they were able to free um, Leomon from his um, brainwashing um, with, you know, with the help of their digivices, and then, um, they end up interacting with a hologram whose name is Jedi, and Jedi explains to them that, yes, you are in the digital world, you're on an island that's called File Island, and now I need you to come to the continent of Server, File, Server, Digital World, and, yeah, I kind of need you to come here because there's an evil Digimon here that's been causing a lot of problems, and if you take this certain route, you can find these things that are called tags and crests, and they can help you get your Digimon to the next level so your Digimon can be stronger. And, you know, the whole point of the Digimon with the Digidestined is that bond is what helps them Digivolve. Um, usually it seems to be in regards to Digimon being able to Digivolve. It involves them just getting stronger and getting older. But if you're a Digimon that has a Digidestined, then that bond that you have with them helps you digivolve faster. And it means that you can digivolve, you can be stronger when you digivolve because it's not just your power, it's your, you know, your digidestin's power as well. And so then, you know, their, their friends that they made on, Sir, on uh, File Island help them and they start making their way toward the continent of Server. Um, they, you know, they reach the continent of Server and they end up all getting their, their crest. Ty gets the Crest of Courage, as I mentioned. And they end up having to deal with their main adversary there is a Digimon that is called Edamon. Um, Edamon is just like a weird Elvis monkey type Digimon. Yeah, I know. And <laughs> the Elvis references are through the roof with Edamon. And I'm pretty sure that was even there before they did the dub. Um, because he kind of has that attitude. And so, eh. Um, <laughs> uh, but, you know, so... Uh, Ty and the others deal with that, and Ty is actually the first one that finds his crest. Uh, as I said, it's the Crest of Courage, and unfortunately, this is kind of where one of Ty's downfalls comes into play. What ends up happening is Ty thinks that because Agumon is the only one that would be able to digivolve to the ultimate level, um, 
he puts so much pressure on Agumon and he keeps, you know, because the Digimon eat a lot. And unfortunately, he tries to make it that Agumon is the one that gets the most food out of everyone. So that way, Agumon is always ready to try to Digivolve. And unfortunately, this, you know, results in not good things for um, Agumon. Um, because at one point, they end up having to deal with a different Greymon that is uh, being controlled by Edamon. And Tai, you know, Tai kind of forces um, Agumon to Digivolve. Well, he was already kind of in Greymon form, but he, but he forces him to Digivolve past that, which is not courage that is making Agumon, that is making Greymon Digivolve in this case. It's a corrupted Digivolution. And this is kind of the first time where we see the essence of a corrupted Digivolution. I do plan on doing a video kind of after I get through the character discussions about kind of the different kinds of Digivolution. Uh, one of them I will be talking about, like corrupted Digivolution. And, you know, so Agumon or Greymon Digivolves, but he doesn't Digivolve into what he's supposed to Digivolve into. He Digivolves into Skull Greymon. And Skull Greymon just causes a lot of problems. He attacks the other Greymon that's there. He ends up like blowing up the area where they are. Kind of almost destroys the other Digidestined and their Digimon. And Tai is just kind of broken by what he saw that he turned Agumon into. And he hates that he did this to not only his friend, his Digimon partner, but also to his other friends. You know, it's his job to lead them. And he's like, if I... How could I have done this? Why, you know, and it kind of makes Ty broken. Um, but, you know, did, you know, Greymon, you know, after Skull Greymon uses up his power, he turns back into, I think he just turns straight into Agumon. And Ty then, you know, Ty is, you know, very, very remorseful. He's very sorry. And the other Digidestin, some of them forgive him a little bit faster than the others. I don't remember if Matt's one of the ones that forgives him rather quickly or not, but it doesn't go super well. Um... But what ends up happening is Ty and the others then, of course, end up traveling for a little bit longer and they end up running into Piximon. Uh, Ty and Koromon, Agumon, have now been having a problem in regards to being able to digivolve in and of themselves. The others can still digivolve fine and they've, you know, some of them have gathered up some more of their own crests along the way. But what ends up happening is Ty and Agumon end up having Piximon help them. Uh, Piximon uh, takes the Digidestin into this kind of uh, his little section of the digital world that Edamon can't get into because it's kind of like hidden. And he takes them into this Colosseum area where he's trained champions in the past. And, you know, he's you know going to help train the other Digimon a little bit. And his main focus is to try to help Ty, help, help Ty and Agumon get over this. And uh, Ty and Agumon... Um, I don't remember if it's just some kind of weird dream that they have or if like Piximon like sends them somewhere specifically, but they end up dealing with Ty dealing with a memory where him and Agumon kind of see a younger version of himself trying to learn how to ride a bike. And Ty and Agumon then help this other younger version of Ty figure out that, you know, you just have to get back on and keep trying, you know, get back on the bike and keep going, you know. And that ends up helping Ty and Agumon because now that kind of helps Ty get through the barrier in regards to his emotional block in regards to helping Agumon be able to digivolve again. And then now Agumon is then able to digivolve at this point. And what ends up happening is, um, so he can digivolve into Greymon now. He can't digivolve into a, a middle Greymon yet, but he can digivolve into Greymon, uh, which is at least a step up. And then they end up having to deal with Edamon some more. And then they end up dealing with um, a Digimon who is called Datamon because Datamon ends up kidnapping Sora because he wants to make a clone of her because he has her crest of love and he wants to use the Sora to fight against Edamon because stupid reasons. And um, Ty um, kind of ends up having to get, actually ends up earning his crest of courage in this case because... Um, Izzy had been having a theory that in the digital world, maybe they couldn't get hurt because it's everything's digital. So maybe they can't get hurt. But then it, Izzy figures out that, no, no, we can get hurt. And that, you know, if, you know, if here, if we get, you know, if we get too injured here, that may cause our actual bodies a lot of 
damage and or if we die here our actual bodies may die um because they don't quite get the, you know no your whole body and your whole consciousness has been transported to the digital world um that just hasn't been quite figured out yet by the digi dustin but they end up and that kind of scares ty and I don't remember if at this point in time, I think we've mentioned that Ty does have a little sister at this point in time because he's he's very good with TK as a kid. And that's kind of one of the adversary reasons that him and uh, Matt sometimes don't get along because TK is, of course, Matt's younger brother. Um, but Ty has to force himself or make himself get past um, his fear in regards to being hurt in the digital world in order to help save Sora and Beelmon. And it works. He gets past that that fear that he was experiencing. Genu general, genuine, genuinely gets past that fear, not by forcing himself to get past it, by facing his fear. And that allows then Greymon to become Metal Greymon, who then fights Datamon, Sora, and Beamon are saved. And then there's this weird, like, black hole dimensional rift thing that opens up and sucks in Edamon and sucks in uh, uh, where, uh, Metal Greymon and Ty. And they're sucked into this wormhole and dropped back out into the real world. And uh, yeah, uh, Ty's like, how the frick did we get here? And where the, where the, Cormon's like, where are we? <laughs> and, uh, and Ty's like, um, this is my home. <laughs> And they end up making their way to Ty's family's apartment, where they end up, where they find out that it's the same day um, that they left because Ty and the others were under the impression that the amount of time that they've been in the digital world, because they've been in the digital world for um, a week, maybe two weeks, maybe th uh, three, two and a half to three weeks or so at this point, with the amount of time that they were traveling around File Island, plus however long it took to get the server, plus when they got the server and now we're there. Um, and what ends up happening is Ty finds out that, oh, it's the same day we left. It's, you know, barely even been, you know, however many minutes since we left. How is, how is this possible? And, you know, he, you know, he gets to their apartment and he finds Kari there. And somehow Kari knows Koromon. And he's trying to figure out how Kari knows Koromon. And he's just like, I just do. And Ty makes all of them food. And he, you know, he's like trying to figure out, well, how, well, I got back here. I don't think the others did, but I, you know, I, can I even get back to the digital world? And he ends up getting a message from Izzy telling him not to return to the digital world. And then in the real world, these visages um, of Digimon start appearing. Ta uh, Ty can see them and Kari can see them. And Koromon can, of course, see them. And he starts seeing what looked like Digimon. And Agumon, or Koromon digivolves into Agumon. And he kind of starts trying to fight the Digimon. And then a portal opens up. And Tai and Kari, you know, Kari doesn't want her brother to go. And because <laughs> we're going to talk about Kari's relationship with Tai at one point. Um, but Kari doesn't want her brother to go. And Tai's like, but, I, you know, he's like hanging from the sky and like holding onto her hand. As, you know, Agumon's kind of been taken back already and Ty now has to go back too. And he's like, but I have to go back. I have to help the others because whatever's happening in the digital world is going to affect what happens here. Because he can kind of start seeing that. And Kari understands. He's just like, just, you know, come back safe type of a thing. And he heads back to the digital world with Agumon. And he ends up, you know, they get back to the digital world and then they go looking for the others. And Ty and Agumon find uh, Tokomon, who is, you know, since, you know, patched from the egg and is now a Tokomon again. And they find Ta uh, TK and then his uh, crest with, uh, or, well, they find TK's Digivice and crest with Tokomon. And then they go looking for TK, who has um, found, who has been found by Demi Devimon, who is a little annoying little runt of a bat thing that could be punted very easily, even if you're me. And, uh... Ty and Agumon don't particularly trust Demi Devimon, neither does um, uh, Tokomon, um, but TK kind of does. Um, Dem Demi De Devimon is like there to try to lead all the Digi Destined off of their paths and everything, separate them from each other. And he ends up 
finding, uh, he ends up trying to get Ty and Kari, or Ty and TK and Agumon to eat these uh, mushrooms that if you eat them, you forget. Agumon had ended up trying to pick some of these mushrooms raw because he didn't like cooked mushrooms. So he tried to pick one of them, eat one of them raw, and he hears Sora's voice telling him not to eat them. And that they're, that they're bad for you, that they make you forget. And Agumon rushes back over to where Tai and TK are, and he, you know, gets rid of the mushrooms and goes, no, 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 you can't eat this, you can't eat this. And he's like, but why? And he's just like, because I'll make you forget. And then they, you know, they, they deal with him, and Devimon, and he flies off. And then Tai and TK and Agumon and Tokomon. Um, I think Tokemon digivolved into Patamon at that point in time. Um, then they go off to find the others. They find Matt and Joe at a diner. And then Matt and TK go off one way. And then Joe and Ty go off another way. And they find Mimi. And, you know, they, they deal with Mimi and get her. And she's, you know, safe and everything. They they deal with her. And she has to overcome her own obstacle. All of them, all of them kind of do in this little arc. And then they end up, the seven of them are all reunited. And then they have to fight Myotismon. They have to deal with Myotismon because Myotismon wants to take all these evil Digimon and take them into the real world and cause problems there. His goal when he gets to the real world is he wants to find the eighth Digidestin child and destroy that Digidestin because then they can't defeat him because the power to defeat him lies within the eighth Digidestin. And the Digidestin, you know, Myotismon takes his army through. And we are introduced to a Digimon that is called Gotomon. I'll get to Gotomon. I love Gotomon. Um, <laughs> Gotomon is awesome. Um, <laughs> uh, but we are introduced to Gotomon. And she seems to be the most capable out of a lot of the Digimon that um, work for Myotismon. And she, you know, <laughs> uh, God. Uh, you know, the other, the Digidestin and the prevent she prevents the Digidestin from getting through this uh, gate that allows them to get to the real world, and then uh, they go to Jedi and Jedi they actually meet Jedi in person. They've just been uh, communicating with a hologram since uh, they arrived, and Jedi explains that well there is a way to get back to the real world, and you're going to have to use these cards in order to get through, um, but you're going to have to you know figure out the right order that these cards go on this like um tablet ritual thing and they they figure out this they figure out the code you know you know izzy kind of helps and the others figure out the code and then um and they get through the gate kind of uh, by the skin of their teeth they get through the gate but they get through the gate and they end up back at the summer camp the summer camp where they were at and they find out that oh well we've only technically been gone by about 15 minutes in the real world it's only been about you know 15 you know 10 to 20 minutes tops that they've been gone and they all have their digimon with them now and they all just claim that oh um when they talk to the counselors oh we found these uh these stuffed animals and uh uh ty's like uh, uh we're gonna take them uh, back to the city with us and we're gonna give them to my sister kari because she didn't get to come with us and everything so she's sad <laughs> um and they, they make their way back to um uh, the area where they all live or the, the roughly the area where they live um, I don't remember if they live in Tokyo or not. I don't think it was Tokyo, but I could be wrong. Um, but they make their way back there and they have to deal with a bunch of these Digimon that are causing problems and everything between Digimon that are sent by Myotismon to cause problems. And they're all trying to find the eighth Digidestin because Ty, you know, they don't know that it's Kari. Spoiler alert, if you haven't seen Digimon, Kari is the eighth Digidestin, if you didn't know that. Um, if you don't know that, why are you watching these videos? Um... But they, you know, he can't, you know, they can't figure out that Kari is the eighth Digidest. And Ty even asks her, like, he shows her a Digivice. Have you seen anything like this? And she's like, no. And um, one night, um, Wizardmon, who is another Digimon that had been working for Myotismon, but he was a friend of Godamon, and he's good. Um, Wizardmon and Godamon show up on the balcony of Ty and Kari's apartment. And Wizardmon has a Digivice that is Kari's. And he and Ty witnesses Kari and Gautamon interacting and witnesses, you know, Wizardmon there. And he thinks that Gautamon and Wizardmon are there to hurt Kari. But Wizardmon and Gautamon explain that, no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 we're not here to hurt Kari. Gautamon and Kari are partners. Kari is Gautamon's Digidestin. 
and you know Gautama's like well I've been I was searching all over and I was you know been searching for my whole life trying to find something that I didn't know I was looking for and now it's Kari is the one that I was looking for and Ty admittedly admittedly well okay so Ty does see the interaction between Kari and Gautama and he sees the Digivice um react between the two of them so there's at least something there so he's not like oh, okay well yeah, sure, I'll just trust this weird cat that's tried to kill me multiple times already. Um, he's like, okay, he, 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 you know, he, like, he switches gears very quickly on Gautamon. And he sees, um, Wizardmon, you know, Wizardmon and Gautamon go off because, you know, Myotismon has Kari's crest, his, the actual crest of light that is Kari's. And, you know, Wizardmon goes off with Gautamon to try to get the crest so they can give it back to Kari because it's rightfully hers. And Kari is worried, and Tai and Agumon go to try to help them. And uh, Agumon, you know, digivolves into Greymon, and they try to help um, Gautamon and Wizardmon. But unfortunately, you know, that doesn't really work out very well. Gautamon is still captured by um, Myotismon, and, you know, I think she, you know, screams at, Ka at Tai to protect Kari or something like that. And Tai gets back to his house and unfortunately my uh, Mon is now like okay well okay time to just you know hold the entire city hostage and you know gathers up all the kids gathers up all the adults puts all the adults one place in this uh, like uh community center or whatever and he has you know all the uh, you know some of the digi destined end up there and some of their families end up there um, throughout this bit, we're kind of introduced to uh, Ty's parents, Ty and Kari's parents. Um, I'll go over them a little bit more. That they have their mother and their father, and then they have like their pet cat Miko that's been around for a while. Um, and <laughs> Ty's mother goes through so many problems in this series. I feel slightly sorry for her, but she's also one of like the very, very supportive moms in the series. Um, some of the parents learn more about the Digi Destined and the Digimon, some of them don't, and sometimes it takes a little while. It just depends. Um, but Ty and, you know, Ty and Agumon are trying to protect Kari, of course, and unfortunately all these Digimon come and they're trying to, you know, gather up all the parents and the kids, and Ty, you know, Agumon digivolves into Greymon to protect Ty and Kari, and, you know, they're trying to escape. And Ty finds Matt, and Ty leaves Kari with Matt to protect her while he goes to try to find and help Gautamon. And, you know, they end up dealing with all of this. All the Digimon that can, um, I can never remember if it's, um, uh, I think it goes uh, Champion and then mm, Ultimate and then Mega. I don't remember. Um, I can never remember Mega and then Ultimate. I can never remember which order those go in. Um, <laughs> but, you know, so all the Digimon at this point have digivolved into all the digi destined digimon that can digivolve up to this point all the way up to their you know their ultimate or their mega forms whichever one involves the crests are there and you know kari was captured she kind of willingly let herself be captured so people wouldn't get hurt and you know myotismon is going to use her and he's you know going to kill her and kari and all the other digi destined witness of course as wizardmon protects kari and Gautamon. And, you know, all of them witness this. And, you know, they're there. And that just... <laughs> and I'll, I'll go over much more of that in Kari's video. But Ty and, you know, Ty is able to get Kari her Digivice and her crest and everything through the through the through all the help of the others. And that resulted in, of course, Gautamon Digivolving into Anjuamon. And, you know, then she's able to use her power to, you know destroy my Mon, and then everybody seems okay but then it's not because my Mon comes back as venom my Mon because there's a weird stupid prophecy that jenai then tells them about and then they have to figure out okay well we have you know the, and there's like a prophecy of like angels will shoot arrows of light and hope at the loved ones of those of the loved ones of those they've been sent to protect and like <laughs> via like Matt's dad and Izzy's parents, they figure out, oh well, yo, know, Kari and TK are the uh, you know the light and hope. Got them on, you know, Anjuman, Anjuman are the light and hope, and you know they're gonna shoot arrows at Ty and Matt, and something is gonna happen. And <laughs> and I'm just like, okay, prophecies are weird, 
but you know they they, they do that and that results in of course Agumon and Gabumon being able to turn into War Greymon and Metal Garurumon, and then between them and the other Digidestin all kind of working together, um, and their Digimon all working together, they are able to defeat Venom Myotismon. And then, unfortunately, that results in the uh, giant rift opening up above them, and uh, they end up having to uh, fight. Uh, well, they end up uh, all going back to the Digital World Kari with them this time. And, you know, their parents are all there to, uh, well, the parents and siblings of them are all, like, all there to send them off. And, you know, the, the, you know Ty promises his mom that he'll, of course, protect Kari, and they get, you know, taken into the digital world again, where they find out that the Dark Masters have taken over the digital world. Um, there is a Seedramon, Puppetmon, um, bleh, Machine Dramon, and then Piedmon are the uh, the four dark masters and they find out that you know the digi destin find out that the dark masters have now like rearranged the digital world and turned it into this giant spiral mountain and they each have their own domain and you have to defeat all four dark masters and you know unfortunately throughout the course of these battles that they do they end up losing friends a wizard or uh they already lost wizard mon uh, Waymon dies, uh, the, uh, whale, giant whale Digimon that became their friend when they were traveling from file to server. Um, Waymon sacrifices himself to protect them. Piximon, unfortunately, sacrifices himself to protect them. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, a lot of them do. And, um, I mean, like, you know, we've learned this about Digimon because we saw this with Patamon, that Digimon don't really die. Their data just gets, you know, reconfigured and they, you know, come back as a Digi-Egg. Um... And, you know, so, so, you know, they kind of know that they'll come back, but it still hurts to watch them die. And, you know, we don't know exactly how quickly that happens. It happened very quickly with Patamon, but a lot of Digimon have been killed by the Dark Masters. And until Primary Village comes back into play, the others can't come back. Um, but what ends up happening is, you know, uh, War Greymon is able to destroy um, Metal Seedramon. And then um, they kind of all separate up a little bit for different reasons. Some because, like, they don't want to fight. Some because they're going to try something else. Um, some because, like, Matt just wants to be on his own. And then it's um, Ty, Sora, Izzy, TK, and Kari are all together in their little group. And they end up having to deal with Machine Dramon in his realm. And uh, Kari gets very sick, so Ty and the others need to get medicine for her. And this is where we get the flashback where Kari was very sick and where Ty's mom slapped him. And Ty and Izzy go to find medicine for her while Sora and TK look, watch over Kari. And they're able to get the medicine for her. But unfortunately, um, via Izzy trying to find where the medicine would be in this kind of city area, um, Machine Dramon's goons are able to track them. And this makes Ty very angry. And um, him and Izzy... <laughs> Ty and Matt are best friends, but Matt or but uh, Ty is Izzy's best friend. So, I mean, like Izzy and Ty are you know very good friends too. I mean, like all the Digi Destins are very good friends. Um, and but you know th this is where we kind of get a, a conflict a little bit between Ty and uh, Ty and uh, Izzy because Ty gets very angry at Izzy for the fact that you know, he's like holding him by his collar. He's like, you're the one that let, you know, Machine Dramon find out where we are. And Kari's not going to get her medicine and she's going to get sick and worse and possibly die um, because that almost happened before. And this is where he tells, you know, she almost died before and everything. And Izzy, you know, Izzy like figures out a way around this, you know, sets up fake codes or whatever so they can't find them. Uh, you know, sends them fake locations for where they are. And then they are able to get the medicine to Sora and Kari and TK, but unfortunately they fall into this like underground, um, you know, underground, uh, you know, su uh, subway is not the right word, um, other underground um, sewer system. And they end up having to deal with, uh, their, they interact with uh, uh, Andromon again, who uh, was a friend that they met way back on File Island. He's, you know, a friend and they're there and he helps them. And, um, Ty uh, has to, you know, Ty faces down with uh, Machine Dramon in order to protect Kari and their friends. And some stuff happens with Kari in this bit, but that'll be in her video. A uh, little bit in like Sora and TK's video because they're witnesses to it. But um, 
you know, Agumon turns all the way into War Greymon again, and he's able to defeat Machine Dramon. He moves so fast that, um, you know, Machine Dramon just kind of falls apart <laughs> and is gone. And, you know, then, you know, then they have, you know, Andromon on their side, and he's helping them. And then we have where now they're getting ready for, like, the final battle against Piedmon. And Piedmon, you know, sends, you know, Lady Devimon after them. And Ty isn't really involved in the Lady Devimon fight. That's more like um, Izzy and then uh, particularly Kari and Anjua Mons um, fight against Lady Devimon. But like Ty's there watching with Izzy and they're like, I don't know if we should be watching this. Kari's in the background, go get her! <laughs> fight her, fight her, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> um, I love that bit. Um, that, that, that's the... <laughs> That's one of my favorite Kari bits, like this like eight-year-old going, just get better to beat her head off and everything like the thing about Anjo Mon to Anjo Mon cheering her on against uh, Lady Debbie Mon. I just I just find that funny. Um But you know, so, so they end up you know that you know, Ty sends Sora to go and find Matt and the others, and you know, Matt and Joe, you know, Sora finds them. Sora has her own debacle that she has to get through. She finds Matt and Joe and she brings them back. And Piedmon had showed up and he kind of caused a lot of damage to um, a War Greymon. And Matt shows up and um, I will admit it is a little bit of an odd, slightly romantic moment. Um, <laughs> but um, like, you know, it's, but it's a friendship. It's the power of Ty and Matt's friendship via Matt's crest of friendship that, you know, Metal Guru Ramon is able to heal War Greymon's wounds. And, you know, then the two of them are able to then, you know, fight Piedmon a bit, but then unfortunately the uh, Piedmon um turns um all of them into keychains, except for TK, Kari, and Anjumon. Uh and you know via Car via TK finally being able to get Anjumon to digivolve into Magna Anjumon, um, <laughs> he's able to, um, you know, he, you know, they're able to, you know, get all the keychains back, turn everybody back into normal. They defeat Devim or defeat Piedmon with everybody working together, <laughs> and like all their all the Digimon friends that like Mimi kind of like gathered up, Mimi and Joe kind of gathered up. And then they deal with Apocalamon. You know, Jedi's barely able to warn them about Apocalamon, and then he shows up, and he basically, um, Apocalamon is in interesting. First, he destroys all of their crests, and then he, like, turns all their Digimon back into, like, their rookie forms, and then he basically digitizes all of them. Them and their Digidestin digitizes all of them. Like, just turns them into nothing but little bitty fragments of data that are floating. And Ty and the others are just like, but how can we, how can we defeat them? How can we beat them and everything? Like their Digimon, you know, rally them and they get, you know, that, you know, they all get past whatever mental block they were in in order to be able to fight again. And it's like, you know, yeah, the power kind of came from our crest, but those crests came from inside of us. <laughs> Courage. Um, you know, the, the power of the crest came from inside of us. It just was kind of like a, a conduit, but we can still digivolve without those. And then, of course, you know, they all digivolve up to their highest level that they've reached that far. You know, where, you know, where Greymon, Rumormon, all of them. And they're able to use their digivices, you know, the Digimon fight against, um, you know, Apocalamon. And they're able to defeat him and they trap him with their digivices um, and kind of, they kind of, kind of make him implode in all honesty. Um, they trap him with the digivices and he kind of implodes. Um, and then Jedi, you know, then, you know, the, the digital world, they watch as the digital world is going to be, you know, fixed and, you know, all the data is going to come back to where it's supposed to be. It's going to fix itself, starting with File Island, where primary village is, and then it's going to grow back from there. And Jedi explains, you know, blah, 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 blah. You know, life, you know, Digi, the Digi, the Digimon will all come back. You know, Wizardmon, Waymon, Pixiemon, all these other Digimon that they lost are all going to come back because they're all going to be reborn here. Um, and, and Leomon, unfortunately, but, you know, they're all going to come back and all going to be reborn here in Primary Village. And they'll, you know, they'll all be here and everything will be okay again um, after the digital world rebuilds itself. And, you know, they, they do like the big group picture in Primary Village that, you know, is just like a fun picture that they all take. And I just love it. And then, uh, uh, you know, Jedi explained, you know, they all kind of think, oh, well, you know, 
you know, the, you know, digital world moves so much slow, you know, so much, you know, faster than the real world, we can stay here for, you know, a long time for the rest of summer vacation. And Jenna is like, well, no, it's actually kind of synced up. So no, the amount of time that passes here is also going to pass in the real world. And they're like, okay, well then we'll just spend the rest of summer vacation here and then we can go home that way. And then Jenna is like, no, actually the, um, the digital gate is going to be closed. And once it's closed, it's not going to open again which we kind of find out later on is kind of bullshit, is kind of a BS, but, <laughs> you know, for the time being, they kind of have to go back home. And Ty and the others all have to say goodbye to their Digimon. And, you know, Ty's, you know, Ty's having to say goodbye to Agumon. And, you know, they're all just, you know, they're all, you know, it's it, it, the sad moments in the last episode. You know, everybody's saying goodbye to all their Digimon and everything, and they all get on the on this uh, tram car that they all kept uh, sleep or train car that they all kind of slept on like the first night that they were in the digital world and now they're going to ride it back to the real world this tram car pops up a lot um but they make it back to the digital uh, make it back to the real world and then in uh 2000 and kind of like the summer ish of 2000 we have it where they have to deal with uh Diaboromon, uh, which is uh, Kuramon into uh, Sunemon into Karamon into, we don't see it, but the, there's a middle form that's uh, 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 Crystallimon and then Infamon and then Diaboromon. And of course, this involves Tai and Izzy in Japan dealing with, um, you know, trying to fight Korum or, you know, fight, um, you know, Infamon and Diaboromon over the internet with, you know, that and everything. And, you know, Ty had been having some issues with Sora, um, <laughs> and, you know, Ty, Ty very much seems to have a crush on Sora for quite a while, and Sora seems to have a crush on Ty for quite a while. Um, that kind of, uh, downgrades a bit in, uh, Digimon Adventure 2.0, which I'll get to, um, in a moment, but, you know, so they end up, and then, like, Ty and, uh, TK and Matt, uh, are like, you know, they have to fight from their end of things to fight against Diaboromon, and, you know, we, you know, we see them all get beaten down and everything, unfortunately, which is kind of a hard thing to watch when you watch, you know, where Guru Ramon or uh, uh, War Greymon and Metal Guru Ramon get kind of beaten down. That kind of hurts a bit as a kid. But then, of course, we have the moment where all of, you know, you know, the emails, the emails, um, <laughs> where the emails, you know, from all the kids, all the other kids around the world that are watching this over the internet, and we have them sitting there and, you know, they, you know, Ty and Matt became digital. They got pulled into the digital world again, into the internet. And, you know, they're able to, you know, connect with Greymon and where, where, where Garumamon, or uh, where Greymon and Metal Garumamon again. And they're able to use this and we get the first instance of DNA digivolving where we have, you know, all of kind of the, the the vestiges of all the different kids that were sending the emails show up and they combine around uh you know war greymon and metal Grurumon, and then it breaks and we get omnimon omnimon um and breaks and we get omnimon and then of course we have omnimon fighting against um diaboromon and you know izzy slows him down with the emails and they're able to defeat him with like like two seconds or one second left before like a bomb was supposed to hit where they went <sighs> because Diaboromon is a prick and it's like well I'm just gonna blow up everything you have issues dude um <laughs> but you know so the, you know they're able to defeat that but unfortunately that kind of results in backlash on Willis and I'll talk about that um, a little bit later when I talk about Willis and then we have there's kind of like a um uh, not quite a hundred percent answer as to um when this is but then like between 2000 and like 2002 um ty and the others get called back to the digital world by jenai and they have their digimon there and they all have to give up their power of their crests in order to set up a protective barrier around the digital world which means that the digimon can no longer digivolve into their uh, digivolve past their champion forms because they don't have access to the crests anymore and you know, so it's like for the Digimon, it's kind of like giving up a part of themselves and such. And then, you know, then the kids go back to their world. And then we deal with where Digimon Adventure 2.0 comes in. Uh, 
Digimon Adventure 2.0 kind of starts in uh, 2002. Is, well, the timeline for Digimon is when it starts in 2002. Um, Ty somehow ends up back in the digital world where he finds Agumon, Gatamon, and Patamon, and then they're running away from the problem that's going on. There's a new threat in the digital world. It's the Digimon Emperor um, who has these dark rings that he uses in order to control Digimon, and he's enslaving them. And he finds them. Uh, he finds, you know, Gatamon and Patamon. And he's called for help to Ty, uh, to TK and Kari, and Ty and uh, Izzy. I think he sends help to Izzy as well, or asks for help from Izzy as well, because somehow he ended up back there. We don't know how. It's never exactly explained. But um, Ty and the the three Digimon find this uh, Digi Egg of Courage, and Ty tries to pick it up, and it won't move. And it sends out these three lights that fly off. And the three lights go to the real world, and then shortly after that is when um, TK, Kari, and Davis show up. Now, uh, Davis um, is kind of like Ty's protege a little bit. Um, he adores Ka Ty. He kind of looks like Ty. He's, you know, goggles and everything. And uh, it's revealed that Davis is a Digi Destined, or has now become a Digi Destined, uh, going to be the new leader of the Digi Destined. Um, but he, you know, Ty watches as Davis picks up the Digi Egg of Courage and then out pops um, Vimon. And, you know, you know Ty kind of just watches at this because the, the uh, in order to use the black um, ring, the dark rings, um, the Digimon Emperor made these dark spires that are, you know, these giant pillars that are all over the digital world that prevent Digimon from digivolving. So regular digivolving doesn't work, but armored digivolving does. And Ty and the others... Um, you know, they watch Davis, you know, are able to destroy the dark rings and Ty then kind of, you know, <laughs> kind of like dubs Davis the new Digi Destin leader. And uh, so, you know, Ty, you know, Davis is very happy about this because like Davis has a huge crush on Kari and he idolizes Ty and like they both play soccer and everything. Um, and Ty... Um, and like that night after they all end up back in the real world, Ty and the other Digi Destined, um, kind of talk about the fact of, okay, so there's new Digi Destined. Yeah. Um, and the digital world's in trouble again. Yeah. How are we going to deal with this? You know, it's like, well, our Digimon can't Digivolve. Um... So we can't really do anything yet. Uh, but, you know, so what ends up happening is, you know, Ty and, but throughout the course of the beginning of the season, each of the Digi Destin, uh, you know, return to the digital world and they get to see their Digimon again. They get to still have like this, this bond that's still there with them and their Digimon gets kind of, you know, renewed. Um, and unfortunately at one point, um, Ty's, the next time that Ty goes to the digital world for the most part is when, Digimon Emperor has enslaved Agumon. And the others kind of watch this, unfortunately, because, you know, he, you know, Agumon had been digivolted into Greymon to kind of protect a certain area. And, you know, the Digimon Emperor had shown up and he, you know, got a dark ring on Greymon. So now he can control Greymon and makes Greymon fight the others. And then he tries to force Greymon to digivolve, which does not result in Metal Greymon. It results in Skull Greymon again. And, you know, Ta, you know, so Ty is, you know, very upset with the fact that his Digimon was, you know, taken and enslaved. And, you know, after, you know, after it turns back into Agumon, the, you know, Digimon Emperor still captures Agumon and takes him away. And he uses him to, like, experiment on to try to figure out, well, why can't I get him to Digivolve the way that he's supposed to? Because if he turns into Skull Greymon, I can't control him. And he eventually develops these uh, dark spirals. Um, but we have his Digimon, Wormmon. Wormon is a very good little Digimon. Um, I'll talk about uh, Digimon Emperor Ken, uh, you know, a lot more later. Um, some more, like I talk about, I'll probably talk about a little bit with like TK and Kari, but mostly um, in his own video, but like his interactions with the other Digi Destined um, for the most part. But he, you know, uh, you know, invented the Dark Spiral um, to use to try to control, you know, War Greymon or. Uh, you know, uh, Metal Greymon, but Wormon, like, freed Agumon and, you know, kind of set him on his way and everything, and uh, Matt had showed up in the digital world to try to help Ty find Agumon, and, you know, we kind of see Matt and Ty kind of fight a little bit, 
and we kind of start seeing a little bit of like this kind of a representation of a friendship between um, uh, Davis and TK a little bit, um, where it's, you know, Davis doesn't quite see, and, you know, through Davis's eyes, we kind of see the way that, you know, Ty and Matt interact with each other with, you know, they kind of, you know, Matt, I think at one point, like kind of like punches Ty and like Matt tight. Davis doesn't understand what's going on, but throughout the course of the bit with Agumon, he realizes that friendship can take many, many forms. And uh, they end up finding this digi egg of friendship and, you know, none of them can lift it. And, you know, Digimon Emperor shows up. Well, first this train showed up that had Agumon on it because he was able to escape with Wormon's help and he's reunited. And then the Digimon Emperor shows up and he's able to get the Dark Spiral onto Greymon, onto uh, Agumon, and then forces him to digivolve into the virus version of uh, War Greymon. Of, uh, sorry, virus version of Metal Greymon. And, you know, this horrifies Ty, of course, but, you know, via Davis realizing that friendship takes many forms and everything and admitting that, you know, Vimon, his Digimon, is his friend, and such. He's able to, you know, get the power of Raidramon, and he's able to free um, Agumon from the power of the Dark Spiral. Um, and then, you know, so th then the Digimon are like, the Digi are like, okay, we have to take care of Ken. We have to, we have to stop him. He's causing way too many problems. We, we have to fix this. But like, uh, but Ty and Matt and Izzy are like, well. We can't really do too much in the digital world right now because our Digimon can't digivolve while the Dark Spires are still around. So we'll sit here in the real world and do a cover up of us all going camping while all of the younger Digi Dustin, you know, TK, Kari, Davis, you'll be Cody, all go to the digital world and they take care of Ken. And Ty and you know, Matt and Izzy, you know, they're kind of like base camp with like Matt's dad there. I feel so sorry for Matt's dad. Um, is there and they sit at base camp and they're doing that and everything and then you know they you know kind of monitor what the digi what the others are doing to a degree via them like messaging izzy back and forth um time seems to have stabilized a bit between where it's like kind of you know the amount that you are in the digital world is the same amount of time that passes in the real world um because like when it's nighttime in the digital world it's nighttime in the real world so time seems to have synced up a little bit more in that case um which is probably just still a you know, thing of, you know, continuation of, you know, at the end of the first season, um, but time synced up. And, uh, you know, the others find out that, oh, okay, they beat, you know, they beat Ken and everything. And, you know, they were able to save, you know, stop Ken and defeat, you know, destroy the dark bat, you know, the Digimon Emperor and Ken's better. Talk about Ken later. Um, Ken will be his own episode, of course. Um, own video but you know so the digi dustin come back and like you know ty and matt and izzy are like yeah yeah they did good they've uh, they've earned the digi dustin title at this point in time and um but before that there had been a moment in the series this is kind of like right before they decide that no we have to stop ken um between when Agumon was enslaved and then when they go back to the digital world um to stop ken um there was, uh, in what they do for the Digi Dustin is that every year they meet on the anniversary of Myotis Mon's defeat. And they remember the friends that were lost. So they remember um, Wizard Mon, of course. They remember, you know, a bunch of the other Digimon that had been lost because of Myotis Mon, all the damage that he had done. Um, in all honesty, we have no idea if, like, Myotis Mon killed a bunch of people in the process of what he was trying to do. That's never stated. Um, I don't know. I wouldn't put it past him. Um, <laughs> I would not put it past uh, Myotis Mon at all to kill people. But um, t uh, they, you know, they all meet up again and, like, Davis and, you know, Lee and Cody and such get to learn more about you know what the digi what the original eight digi dustin went through they learn more stories about this um you know they you know they they you know they just kind of get to see a little bit more of the experience of what they went through and they end up going to the tv station where matt's dad works because there's a ghost that's haunting it but it's also where wizard mon died and they all get to watch Kari and Gatamon reunite with Wizard Mon's ghost and it tells them that they have to fight Ken in order to defeat him. They have to, you know, fight Ken with kindness, which, of course, you know, that's when they then decide that they have to go back to the digital world. And that's when, you know, Davis or, you know, Ty and Matt and Izzy come up with the cover story of going camping. They actually go camping, but, you know, 
they use that as a cover story, but it's real. So it's technically not a lie. Um, but, you know, Ty and, you know, it's, it's Ty and Izzy and the others kind of passing on kind of, you know, wisdom to the next generation, you know, what their experiences were with dealing with Digimon, with dealing with bad Digimon, with dealing with, you know, the controlled Digimon, with dealing with a bunch of that stuff. And uh, there, <laughs> there's going to be another moment that I'm going to talk about um, now, actually, because at, um, you know, after they defeat Ken, you know, Ken now becomes kind of their ally and everything, and he's, you know, part of the Digi Destined, he's, you know, part of the younger group and everything. Um, which, you know, more overview of that will be coming, you know, what, 10 episodes from now or something like that, whenever I get around to Ken, <laughs> um, 10, 10, 9, 10 discussion videos down the line when I finally talk about Ken. Um, but we have a moment in the series where it's Christmas and, you know, the younger Digidestined, you know, they got all of the Digidest, all the Digimon to come to the real world and they, you know, get them reunited with their team, with their Digidestined and, um, you know, so Ty's reunited with Agumon for Christmas, and, uh, <laughs> you know, so that's just kind of fun. All the Digimon and their Digidestined get to spend Christmas together, and what ends up happening is that night at, you know, the, like, the, like, Christmas Eve or just after Christmas or just before Christmas, um, Matt's band is doing a concert, and Ty and the older Digidestin that are all there, except for Mimi because she's off living in America, um, but the other Digidestin all come there, go to the concert, and it is attacked by a bunch of actually evil Digimon and Ty and the others, you know, they, you know, they, they have to, you know, a dark spire appeared there and they can't figure out why. And then they end up, you know, de destroying the dark spire and then, you know, they all digivolve and they get the Digimon sent back to the digital world. And then they interact with, um, <laughs> they interact with a much younger Jedi who is still the same Jedi, but now he's younger because Jedi went through a weird, phase because um and this kind of just um i kind of skipped over this in the for the original series but they end up interacting with this kind of um after they're in the digital world kari um at one point before they all split up and they go their own separate ways um kari kind of ends up being possessed um by kind of a a, a digimon kind of protector spirit type thing that like explains to the kids yeah no all all eight of you were chosen um, to be Digidestined because there was something inside of you and we found the perfect Digimon for you. And then, you know, the Dark Masters had attacked us and then, you know, Jedi took all of you, took all the Digi eggs along with the uh, Digivices and the crests and such to uh, try to take them to a safe place on File Island so they would be okay. But, you know, we see Gautamon get kind of separated from the group, her egg gets separated. And so we get, you know, we get kind of backstory that like, you know, you were all chosen for a specific reason. You know, Ty's courage, Curry's light, Matt's friendship, Sora's love, all of that. You know, because you have that inside of you. And Ty and the others, you know, they kind of are like, okay, so we were chosen, but, you know, kind of, kind of like, okay, well, we were chosen, but we weren't given a choice in the matter. And it's kind of where some of that angst comes from in the original series um, between Ty and Matt a little bit. Um, but on like on Christmas morning, um, you know, in 2002 or so, um, on Christmas morning, they end up interacting with a, um, oh, what is it? They, uh, there's like a whole bunch of Digimon that have popped up around Japan and, you know, Davis and Ken via their Digimon DNA Digivolving and like Warp Digivolving, um, end up going and like sending all of those Digimon back to where they're supposed to be in the digital world. But then um, Jedi, the younger Jedi, showed up and he explains to the kids that, oh, well, I brought power from a Zulongmon, who's like this giant celestial Digimon um, that's, you know, supposed to help keep the digital world in balance. I will talk about Black War Greymon, but let me finish up this part first. And what ends up happening is he gives them the power so that way now their Digimon can, you know, digivolve all the way to their, you know, their uh, ultimate or mega forms, whichever one it is. Um, and, you know, so Tai and, and, you know, Agumon and Gabumon can now turn into their, you know, full forms, you know, Metal Guru Ramon and, or, uh, War, you know, Metal Guru Ramon and, uh, War Greymon. And, you know, so Jedi gives them this power and then they end up finding out that, oh, there's, there's Digimon running amok all over the world. So then we kind of get like the Digi Destiny globe hopping tour where, um, um, you know, 
they all get dropped off in different countries around the world and Matt and or, uh, Ty and TK are actually paired up and they end up in France where they where they are helped by TK's grandfather um, I believe it's his grandfather on his mother's side from the little bit that we are um, informed about um, TK and Matt's grandfather and they end up uh, at the Palace of Versailles because they end up helping a uh, French Digi Dustin whose name is Catherine and her Digi and her Digimon Florimon against a Mamemon, Big Mamemon, Metal Mamemon, and uh, Giromon. Um, I think so. Um, you know, and they're, you know, they deal with the Digi Dust, you know, Ty and the uh, Ty and TK deal with them, and you know, they have, you know, uh, Cat, uh, Catherine in there. Uh, Catherine there and she helps them and they're able to defeat all these Digimon and send them back to the digital world and Ty and you know and then Ty and Ty and TK both kind of have slight crushes on Catherine because she's cute and they both give her kisses and um Agumon and um Palm and uh, Potamon kind of have a slight crush on uh Floramon and she's just like Pah! <laughs> she's cute i'll talk a little bit more about like the miscellaneous digi dustins that we meet during the globe hopping tour um after i get done with the main cast um because i'm just i just have like a video plan where it's just like i'm just going to talk about the miscellaneous ones um that doesn't include willis and uh mock uh 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 mako but i'll talk a little bit about mako in a minute um but what ends up happening is you know then they all head back to japan and they all get christmas there and everything and everything's good or so we thought. And then we have where they end up dealing with Obikawa. And we end up dealing with War Metal uh, Black War Greymon. And um, we, you know, Black War Greymon is a Digimon that has been made of a hundred control spires. And he kind of, he has a soul. And way back when he was first created, he ended up interacting with Agumon. And him and Agumon, way back in the digital world, had sat and talked for a little bit because Agumon's like, I think he had like heard about Black War Grim and he's like, well, when I digivolve, I turn into like a different version of you. And, you know, like they sit and they talk and, Gr and you know, Black War Grimmon has like all of these questions and he's like, well, you know, how do, you know, you know, what is a heart? How do I know what a heart is? How do I know what, you know, friendship or love or anything like that is? And Agumon's like, well, he's like, well, I don't know where my heart is, but I know that I have it because I, you know, because I have people that I love, you know, Ty and Kari and, you know, Agumon and Gautamon even kind of act a little bit like brother and sister at times. Um, seems to be a little bit of like their relationship that kind of comes from a little bit of the relationship between Ty and Kari. But, you know, he's like, you know, like the other Digi Dustin and their Digimon, you know, the other Digi Dustin care about the other Digi Dustin's Digimon as well. Like, you know, you know, Algamon doesn't just care about Ty and Kari. He also, and you know, like Matt and Gobblemon, he cares about like the other Digi Destined um, quite a bit. And, you know, all the others do as well. But like, you know, Agumon and Blackmore Greymon are kind of just talking and Blackmore Greymon's like, well, you know, what, you know, what's the point of a heart if it just makes you weak? I'm just going to ignore my heart. And he leaves and goes to cause more problems. <laughs> we'll talk a little bit about like his destructive path with the, uh, with the uh the, the digimon adventure 2.0 digi dustin um but he and uh, but black war greymon showed up in the real world because he was trying to try to find and kill oikawa because he's disturbing the balance between the real world and the digital world because black war greymon kind of goes through his own arc in and of himself and he might get his own video i don't know yet but um you know so they deal with that and black war greymon shows up and he you know tries to deal with oikawa and then he kind of gets hurt by Oikawa and um, Mamemon and Arukenimon. And then he basically ends up like lying on this, you know, lying on these rocks by this beach where Black War Greymon gets chastised, <laughs> gets chastised by Agumon and Wormmon. And it is so funny. And it actually like way back when the episode first came out, I unfortunately missed it. But then like later on, like I have it all on DVD and like at one point I watched it all the way through and I'm like, okay, I finally get to watch this episode. Let's watch this giant freaking supposedly, you know, evil incarnate Digimon get chastised by a worm and a dinosaur. <laughs> um, but like, you know, so I watched through that and, you know, so he gets chastised and, um, you know, 
you know, Black or Greymon has his own character arc, of course, because um, he becomes quite a major player at the kind of the latter half of the uh, uh, 2.0 series. Um, but he goes and he's, you know, he sacrifices himself to protect, you know, the digital world and everything. And, you know, at this point, you know, a bunch of the other Digimon have gone back to the digital world. The other trainer Digimon have gone back um, and given up their power to help um, the other Digi-Destined. And, you know, so, so, so there's all of that. Um, I'll go over that and the other stuff. But, um, you know, Oikawa ends up causing a lot of problems and he takes a bunch of these children um, that he has kind of uh, brainwashed and tricked into, you know, trying to use them as a way to get to the digital world. Um, we also have a moment where um, between when, like, all the Christmas stuff happens and Digi Destin returned from taking care of all the Christmas Digimon that were causing a problem, Ken is kind of um, kidnapped by Obikawa, and there are these other Digimon there that are causing a lot of problems. One of them's a Lady Devimon, and there's a couple of other ones. And Ty ends up having a conversation with Kari, and that episode in and of itself, what they do with that is actually very beautifully animated, in my opinion, for, you know, the budget for Digimon. But Ty has this conversation with Kari because up to this point, the new Digi Dustin, Davis, and his group haven't actually had to kill any Digimon. And all the Digimon that they've dealt with were ones that were being controlled by dark rings or dark spirals. Um, or were control spire Digimon and you know, made out of the control spires. They haven't actually had to deal with any real Digimon that are actually honestly just bad because they've kind of had the experience, you know, Davis, Yoli, and Cody, Ken to a degree, but Davis, Yoli, and Cody have only had the experience that Digimon are good and that they're only made bad because of someone controlling them. And the interacting with these Digimon that are definitely not good Digimon. They're not being manipulated or controlled. They are honestly just bad Digimon. And Ty and Kari have this conversation where he's like, they're going to have to understand the concept that they are going to have to kill Digimon at some point. They're going to have to face that fact. And Kari's like, I know... And like we have, I think we have like Agumon and Godumon in the background, kind of like listening to this conversation. And you know, Kari understands this because her and TK were part of the original group. You know, TK a little bit more than she was, but you know, TK's experience was you know, Devimon was a Digimon that was just a bad Digimon. Same thing with Myotismon. Same thing with the Dark Masters and Apocalymon. They were Digimon that were bad because they chose to be bad. And you know. Ty and Kari, you know, they have to have that conversation, and Ty, you know, it's, it, it is kind of a hard conversation, and, but Kari knows that it is something that the other Digi Destins are going to have to face, and, you know, they, they do end up having to face that, you know, with what happens next, because Oikawa takes these children, and he, you know, they, he tries to use them to take him to the digital world, and they end up dealing with, um, <laughs> they end up having to deal with Venom Myotismon, or sorry, Mallow Myotismon. Um, but Ty and the other original Digi Destin, the older Digi Destin, because uh, the other younger Digi Destin all end up going to this weird dream world type thing, but Ty and the other older Digi Destin, along with all the other Digi Destin around the world, because Mallow Myotismon is trying to coat the world in darkness, um, Ty and the other Digi Destin, along with their families and the families of the newer Digi Destin, and one of the girls that was kind of a, a brainwashed by Oikawa, end up going to the campsite where they originally first went to the digital world. And because they're trying to get back to the digital world, because they know that you know that's the only gate that they can access, and you know because they know that Davis and the others are going to need their help, or they know that something is that they're going to need their help, and you know. You know, Malamiotismon starts to coat the world in his darkness, and Ty and the others, you know, use their digivices, you know, along with all the other, you know, hundreds or thousands or whatever digi Destin around the world, are using their digivices in order to, you know, break through the darkness in order to weaken Malamiotismon. And then they are all, via their digivices and everything, you know, transported to the digital world, where they then use their power to 
weaken Malomyotis mon even more, and they're able to destroy Malomyotis mon. And in doing so, you know, Malomyotis mon is destroyed, and then Tai and the others, you know, their Digimon are all safe again, the digital world is safe again for a while. <sighs> for a while. And uh, so then everybody's happy. Um, now, in the original series, this is kind of where we find out about everybody's dreams and what happens in the future. But first, we have to deal with 2003 for Digimon, which involves um, about three months after Malamiotis' Mon, Malamiotis Mon's defeat, we deal with um, Diaboromon coming back. And he's, you know, it, it's just one of the other movies that they had for Digimon, um, where they deal with uh, Diaboromon comes back, he's sending all these little Coromon through the Digivices, uh, through televisions and computers and phones and everything into the real world. And then they all, you know, Ty and Matt and... TK and Kari end up going all onto the internet and they're going to, you know, Omnimon comes into play and they, you know, trying to fight Diaboromon and then all of these Kuromon that ended up in the uh, real world are all then changing into this giant, well, Apoc uh, to Armageddon is what it turns into. And, um, you know, Omnimon comes through and he's been very badly injured um, by fighting Diaboromon, unfortunately. And you know, he uses the last of his strength to give it to Imperial Dramon Fighter Mode, who is the DNA digivolved, um, fully evolved for, uh, form of, um, ta of uh, Davis, uh, Davis's Vimon and uh, Ken's Wormmon all the way, you know, up to the strongest point, and it gives them, um, Omnimon, you know, gathers up all the last of its strength, and it transfers it to them with the Omni Sword, and which allows it to, you know, digivolve into um, Imperial Dramon paladin mode and which he just gets like white armor and he then you know he's able to then use the omni sword and or omni blade omni sword omega blade whatever you want to refer to it as in order to defeat armageddon which yay no more on armageddon and you know they're able to defeat armageddon and send all the coromon back and delete them so all that's done <sighs> then <laughs> Then we enter Reunion. Then we enter the Digimon Tri section. <sighs> God, the Digimon Tri section. And actually, given how much is in the Digimon Tri section, yeah, I'm kind of kind of uh, gloss over a few things, but yeah. So, <laughs> Digimon Tri, uh, first episode is called Reunion. It's the first like four or five episodes that they did combined. Um, it takes place in 2005. Um, Ty is in high school. Um, he's getting ready to graduate high school and, you know, him and the other Digimon and, and the Digidestin, the other original eight Digidestin, I'll get to my grievance with the Digimon Tri series in a little bit, but we have the original Digidestin are all having to, you know, Digimon start appearing in the digital world at some point between the end of the, like, the Diaboromon finishing up, you know, finishing up Armageddon, and now there's, like, by the time, like, all the Digimon had to go back to the digital world, and the Digidestin couldn't travel through because the gate was closed again for a while, and Ty's been missing Agumon, all the others have been missing Agumon, or missing their Digimon, and, you know, one day Ty ends up, you know, a giant Kawagumon comes up, and it's trying to fight everybody and um you know it's, it's causing problems and it's the same kawagamon from way back when it's the same kawagamon because it's trying to specifically kill till trying to specifically kill ty and he you know it's chasing ty and then agamon shows up you know happy reunion between the two of them and then agamon then has to digivolve to fight Digivolved out to fight, um, you know, Kawagamon. And, you know, he fights Kawagamon, and I don't remember if he defeats him or if they're able to send him back or whatever happens, but then we have to deal with this whole arc through the story of something's going on in the digital world. There's this virus that is affecting the Digimon that is uh, going to make them kind of go rabid, uh, go rabid. And we introduce two, uh, two new characters, um, Diego Nishijima, who is actually kind of He's, he gets his own video along with the, the other lady that we're going to meet. Um, but he's undercover. He's a government agent. He's undercover at the school as like kind of the gu guidance counselor for like Ty and his group. Um, and like a, a, 
uh, I think Matt goes to the same school and Izzy goes to the same school and Sora goes to the same school and then uh, Mimi shows up because her parents are moving back to Japan and she's going to go to the same school as well and then uh, TK and Kari are in like a middle school at this point in time. Um, my, my main freaking grievance with Digimon Adventure Try. I, I love the series. I love what they did with it for the specials and everything. I love it. But the, my main grievance is the fact that Davis, Yoli, Ken, and Cody are all like we get slight glimpses of them at the beginning and then like we find out what happens to them in the final episode but like the entire time that they're gone none of the other digi dust and their friends are like okay where are our other friends <laughs> that just bugs the freaking heck out of me the entire time it's like they're your friends why aren't you worried about where they are you like do you cart you know tk and cart you know tk and you know, Kari, like, their DNA digivoting partners are not showing up, so I was like, okay, what are we gonna do with this? And I was just like, okay, frick, bugs the heck out of me that they don't deal with that better. Um, that they, they, they could have done that better, but they don't. Just bugs the heck out of me. Um, that was, like, my one main grievance with Digimon Adventure Try. Um, but they are introduced to this, uh, other girl, whose name is Mako, and she has a Digimon that is called Mekumon. And they end up, you know, they, they interact with her. They have a lot of fun with her. She becomes part of their group. And um, uh, Ty and Matt kind of end up having these problems because they end up, oh, I'm going to put this for Ty and Matt. Um, they're at one of those moments where they're like butting heads all the time because Matt knows one thing that they have to do and Ty is like worried about certain things, you know, certain damages that all the Digimon cause because we have a moment where like, um, a bunch of, you know, the Digimon cause a whole lot of damage and everything, and kind of the world kind of knows about Digimon at this point in time, because Digimon have appeared a few times, um, but now it's like Ty and the others are like, okay, well, now they're going to start blaming all these other Digi Destin and all the Digi Destin Digimon for the problems, and Ty doesn't want to cause any more problems, and Ty's mom has this great line, because, like, she's perfectly fine with, like, Godamon and Agumon being in the house and everything, and she's just like, well, why would anyone think that you two are a problem? You're so sweet, <laughs> and I love Ty's mom. She's great, um, but, you know, Ty and, you know, Ty and Matt, like, butt heads multiple times throughout this whole Adventure Try series and in you know, a Digimon um, Last Evolution, which kind of just ties right into this to a degree. But, you know, they become friends with Mako and her friend. And then there's another uh, lady that they are introduced to um, who is a partner of uh, Nishijima. Her name is uh, Maki. Um, she is a much more, uh, Nishijima kind of is kind of a funny-ish type of a guy. Uh, Maki um, is his friend and his, uh, superior, and we actually find out that the two of them, that Diego and Maki, were actually part of the original, original Digi Destin that were first taken in the digital world. And throughout flashbacks we get, we find out that, um, one of, that his Digimon and the other, they had, there, there was a group of five, and it was him, and it was, uh, Diego and Maki, and then, like, three others, and we don't really learn anything about the other three, but his Digimon and the other three Digimon that they had their three Digimon, their four Digimon, not Maki's, but their three, all ended up turning into the Celestial Digimon. The, you know, the, you know, Azulongmon and the other ones that are the Celestial Digimon in the digital world. And her Digimon, Maki's Digimon, um, Tapermon, um, had ended up being sacrificed in order to defeat the Dark Masters the first time. And Maki, through the entire thing, is just trying to find a way to get the digital world to reboot. And via that involves the virus that is unfortunately coming from Mekumon. And it infects all of the Digi Destin's Digimon. And at one point it just basically involves all the Digimon being inside of the digital world and they have to do a forced reboot on the digital world. And Mekumon and the others and, and like the Digi Destin have to watch this and it is so hard to watch and I will admit I cried. I was crying when we were watching this in because there's like determination and like there's like different ones that they have for the different uh, sequences like reunions the first episode determination is the second um kind of uh, movie that they did for it and I don't remember if it's at the end of this one or not but like all the digi Destin have to slowly get their digimon to, to digivolve into their full forms um throughout the course of the series you know Mimi gets you know, Rosemont later on, you know, Izzy gets, you know, uh, Mega Kabu, or um, Hercules Kabu Terry Mon, you know, we get all this stuff that happens. And, but it, it's a very hard sequence to watch when the digital world is rebooted. 
and it had been Maki's goal to get the digital world rebooted. We don't learn this until later on, but she wanted to get Tapiermon back because Tapiermon never came back. Tapiermon was one of the Digimon that did not come back um, because of the way that it was sacrificed. It couldn't come back. And she has a problem with that. But like all the other Digimon, unfortunately, got infected and then they had to reboot the digital world. And, you know, that was, oh God, that was a hard thing to watch for that. But then like all the Digi Destined then have to go to the digital world to find their Digimon. And that leads us into um, confession. And they all go to the digital world and they all find their Digimon and they're in training forms or in their little baby forms. Um, and they all end up having to rebond with their Digimon. Some of them take a lot less time. Agumon is, or Koromon is still a, uh, and then turns into Agumon. Koromon is still like a bottomless pit. Um, and like the others all kind of have to rebond with their Digimon. The one that has the hardest time with this is Sora. And I'll go over this in her video. Um, but the other Digi Destin have, you know, and Mako's there with them. And they deal with Meikumon because Meikumon didn't get rebooted. Meikumon still has all of her memories and she's angry at the fact that like Mako seemed to um, abandon her. And she sees Mako with the other Digidestin and their Digimon and she's jealous. And you know the Digidestin end up getting all separated at one point. And you know and then they all end up having you know find their way back to each other and they all have these different you know. The problem is is that none of the Digimon of the Digidestin have their memories. All of their memories were gone. They just didn't have any. None. And they end up having to, you know, they, they're they trying to figure out, like, well, the, Digimon, the, the the memories have to be somewhere, but we just don't know where yet. And so they're just kind of remaking their bond with their Digimon, which is a fun, kind of some fun sequences to watch a little bit. But then, of course, they keep getting attacked by other Digimon, you know, other Digimon that were enemies in the past, other new enemies, just, oh, God. Um... But, you know, uh, Nishijimi, Nishijima and Himakawa end up dealing with the Digidestin and, like, Digimon start appearing in the real world because there's problems there because stuff is trying to attack the real world. And, oh, God, it just, it devolves so quickly and it's not fun. And it's just, it's, you know, so much, you know, one thing kind of right after another of more and more problems that keep piling up and... You know the Digimon Digivolve and they you know they rebuild their bonds and they get better and it's just oh god it's kind of hard to watch and you know you know god it's hard to watch in the series um but like there's so much you know it's like I can't break it down exactly because they all intertwined with each other and there's you know new Digimon that pop up and then there's like you know they, they deal with all these other problems that they have to deal with and then we get a moment where my Kumon because Meikumon kept digivolving into kind of more and more infected versions of herself. And at one point, she ends up between her digivolving and, you know, between her digivolving and between, um, you know, Omnimon had, you know, come along, you know, War Greymon and Metal Groom had DNA digivolved. And Ty and Matt have kind of gotten past some of their issues with each other and with, you know, what's going on with the situation. And they're, you know, on the same page to allow DNA Digivolving. And then there's this other, there's like these other two Digimon that they had to deal with, like Alphamon and Hackmon and was it Chessmon or I don't remember exactly, but a bunch of these other Digimon that they have to deal with that are causing problems with them and trying to destroy Meikumon and, you know, other issues are going on with the digital world. You know, the digital world wants to destroy the humans because it sees them as an infection type of a thing. And that's why the Digimon are going after them. And then, of course, we have the episode Lost, which, of course, deals with a lot of other things. And, you know, we have, you know, all, all these other issues that are going on. And Meikumon, at one point, ends up just, you know, there ends up being a very bad thing that happens because... Um, um, you know, and then there's another episode that's called Coexist that works their way through things because they're in the digital world for a while while they're dealing with some of these issues. And, and, you know, I'll go over more of the Meikumon and Mako stuff in their specific video. Um, and, you know, just go watch Adventure, you know, just go watch Digimon Adventure Try. They got back a bunch of the different voice actors that they could for it and they did a great job with it. Beautifully done, beautiful animation. But at one point, there is a moment where there's this big battle going on, and Ty, unfortunately, um, what ends up happening is, 
Tai and Nishijima, uh, Diego, uh, end up falling down into a ravine. And, you know, that, you know, Agumon or, you know, Koromon gets, you know, turns back into Koromon. And they all think that Tai is dead. And Kari just... Kari snaps, for all intents and purposes. Kari just snaps. And, you know, Gautamon, like, dark digivolves, corrupt digivolves. Um, well, uh, she's a uh, Nyaramon at the time, her little green cat form kind of corrupted digivolves into um, uh, <laughs> Ophanimon fallen down mode, and then combines with the... Um, the, the, the corrupted digivolve version of what Mekumon becomes, and they digivolve into um, Ordinemon, which, um, yeah, that's an extremely powerful Digimon, and it starts opening up portals all over the place with its power, and it, it's huge, and it, you know, it, it, it's, it's just going on a rampage. It's, um, you know, it's going to destroy the digital world and the real world. And Kari is just kind of in this very, very dark place at this point in time. And, you know, God. and I'll go over that in Kari's video, but Kari's just in this very dark place and she does end up coming out of it at one point. And, but... Um, they think that Ty is dead and Koromon has the line because like even he doesn't remember everything about Ty but he still knows he says I'm supposed to protect him and now I can't my heart feels empty and yes yes I cried at these moments yes I did <laughs> Digimon Adventure Tri just does a great job of making you cry same thing with Digimon Adventure um, <laughs> with the, the, the Digimon Last Evolution but and then we move into future and we find out that no, Tai is not dead. Nishijima is not dead yet. They find um, the you know, Nishijima is hurt. I think he got very badly hurt by the fall, but he was able to protect Tai. And they find uh, these uh, kind of cryopods that um, Davis and Ken and Yoli and uh, Cody are with their Digimon or in these cryostasis pods that were put there by like an evil Digimon king called King Drazel for reasons. And... Nishijima tells Tai that he knows uh, uh, Himakawa, who is uh, Maki, who is his friend, why she's the one that did this. She was working with King Drazel. She wanted to get her Tapermon back, and that doesn't work, unfortunately. And Jedi had unfortunately been kind of corrupted in this um, endeavor, and he's kind of gone bad, um, unfortunately. And then there's like all these other things that happen, and Nishijima basically tricks Tai into getting into one of the cryostasis pods. So that way he can send Ty and the others, the other uh, four digi, the other four younger digi Dustin back to the real world, so that way Ty can help the others. And Nishijima, unfor Nishijima unfortunately dies in this process of doing this. Um, and he, you know, sends Ty and the others back to the real world. And then Ty is reunited with the other digi Dustin and with Agu with uh, Koromon, and they're all able to digivolve again. <laughs> and you know, they all digivolve into their full forms. And via Izzy finally being able to like connect to something inside of um, Meku and uh, between Meku and Mekumon, they find out that all the Digimon's memories that they had had are actually trapped inside of Mekumon. Uh, this corresponds with like something with Kari getting Gautamon back because she's able to pull Gautamon. You know, Kari getting better because, you know, TK ties back. She kind of comes out a little bit before ties back, but she's able to connect with Gautamon to pull Gautamon out of, um, or Dinemon. And Davis, or uh, Ty, and, you know, Izzy's able to figure out, okay, all the Digimon's memories are inside of Mekumon. And he's able to get to that file, and he's able to release that. And we get these, like, um, mo we get this moment where, like, all the Digimon have, like, their memories flooding back of, like, them and their trainer, you know, their Digi Dustin, all the, you know, the original series and the second series and, you know, everything now up until the, the reboot happened. And, you know, so we get all of that and then all of them are digivolving into their final forms. You know, they all, you know, they're all, you know, warp digivolving if they're not already warp digivolve into their final forms. And, you know, 
War Greymon and Metal Gururumon DNA digivolve and then all of the others digivolve into them and become all one version of Omnimon that is called Omnimon Merciful Mode. Um, via that was awakened by Meku, uh, Meku's um, Digivice. Um, and they have to basically, uh, they have to kill or Dinemon and kill Mekumon and deleting her in the process unfortunately and you know make me, me, you know i'll go over Mekumon and uh, meku meko in their own video but like Mekumon, you know says goodbye to meko in a vision and you know this, this thanks her for all the fun and you know and she's you know she's free from this problem that she was having with being an infected digimon she's now free and you know the others are all <laughs> the others are all fine now you know, they all get their Digimon back. They're all very sad for, you know, Mako losing her Digimon, of course. But they all get their, you know, they all get their Digimon back. And all their Digimon have their memories back. And, you know, they're all better. And then we got to, like, a couple of months later, we find out that uh, it's about three months later around uh, on Christmas Eve. And we find out that, you know, Ty and Izzy and or, uh, 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 Matt and Ken and Yoli and Cody are all doing fine. Again, my grievance, moving on, um, but um, Ty, you know, calls Mako over the phone, and, like, they're just talking, and, like, Agumon shouts into the phone saying, you know, we're always, we're gonna always be friends, and at one point, we actually had this moment where we had uh, Agumon and Mako um, have kind of a, a bit of an interaction with each other, um, where... Um, it's after the Digimon have lost their memories, but, you know, before Ty kind of, you know, quote unquote, they think dies, um, cause they end up back at the school at one point when they end up back in the real world and then they end up back in the digital world, it bounces back and forth a little bit. Um, but like Agumon and Mako kind of had a bit of a, uh, a conversation at one point where he's just trying to cheer her up because like her Digimon's not there, but he's like, I know that Mako, uh, that Mekumon probably does want to see you again. She's just scared type of a thing and so it's like we still have those moments where we have like the other digimon and the digi destined interacting not just with their own digi destined but with the other digi destined in the group or with the digi destined's families um okay <laughs> now we have digimon 2010 or when it happens in 2010 in the timeline um we deal with digimon the last evolution and we have a moment uh the beginning quote of this is the more that people accept the future chosen for them, the less they will age. We will do anything to reach higher heights. This is a, this is not a story about the past. It's a new story about us and our Digimon. It's our new journey, journey is crossed out, adventure with them, is the opening quote on uh, Digimon, uh, The Last Evolution. And it takes place about five years after the events of Digimon Adventure Try. Ty is um, in college at this point in time. So is Matt. Ty's off living on his own. Um, the story does kind of revolve a little bit more around Matt and Ty. Um, but we still get you know glimpses into the other Digidescent, of course. And we find out that um, Ty and Matt actually have, <laughs> unfortunately, it has been revealed that when a Digidestin reaches their full potential, that their Digimon die. Well, their Digimon don't die, but their Digimon kind of leave. And like their Digi dust, their Digivice kind of turns into stone. And there's like a timer that pops up on like Ty and Matt's Digivices. And, you know, Matt's trying to decide what he wants to do. He's debating about going into the self-defense force. Ty can't quite figure out what he wants to do, um, but we, you know, so we end up dealing with a lot of that, and we have a moment where, like, Ty, this is so funny, it's like, after the timer has, like, appeared on his phone, Ty ends up taking Agumon back to his apartment, because he lives on his own now, and he takes Agumon back to his apartment, and he, <laughs> it's just funny, because, um, it's just a little apartment, because Ty's, you know, a single, you know, bachelor and everything, teenage bachelor, you know, college bachelor, and Agumon's just kind of looking around, and Kai real, and Agumon's like, huh, I haven't been here before. And Matt and Ty's like, huh, I thought I had brought you here before. And Agumon's like, no, I'd remember this smell. <laughs> and 
Um, Agumon's like looking around and he like pulls out from under Ty's bed. He pulls out dirty magazines and Ty's like, grabs those and like shoves them in the bed. No, I'm, I, those aren't mine. I'm hiding them. I'm, or I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, holding on to them for someone else. And then Agumon's like, okay, <laughs> whatever. Um, but they interact with these two. Um, one of them is a lady who is named uh, Menowa Bellucci, who will get her own video later on. Um, she is a professor from the United States. We find out throughout the course of the movie that she is actually a digi destined who has gone through what Ty and Matt are going through now, where they lose their Digimon. And she actually has a great quote in the movie. And I'll, I'll, read, I'll, I'll read the quote now, but it's also going to be like in her video. Um, do you know why Digimon partners pick the children they work with? It's because they're full of potential. The possibilities are endless. Their choices results in growth, and that growth and potential produces an enormous amount of energy. Surely you understand. Your growth was the trigger for your partner Digimon to be able to digivolve. As we live our lives, the choices we make help us grow, but as you uh, grow, uh, grow older, the power of your Digimon steadily dwindles. And once it's gone, the bond between the Digimon and the partner is broken forever. Uh, Menowa has gone through this with her own Digimon, and I'll explain that in her own video a little bit more. But she's, she's actually kind of the, the problem in this world we deal with. Uh, she has made a, a kind of an artificial Digimon, kind of like what Willis tried to do way back when. Um, she tried to make an artificial Digimon uh, that is called... Um, Oh, uh, Eosmon, like a, a, a kind of based off of like Eos, the Greek, uh, the Greek or Roman goddess of the dawn, uh, Eosmon, and she, you know, Eosmon is going around and putting Digidestin into comas, and throughout the course of the movie, all of the other Digidestin, you know, TK and Kari and Mimi and Joe and Izzy all end up getting put into these comas, and their Digimon seem to have disappeared. And Menowa and this other guy who is um, a government agent that is kind of keeping an eye on her and is actually kind of trying to stop her, um, working with her but trying to stop her because he's undercover, um, is trying to figure out, okay, well, how are we going to fix this? And, you know, he's trying to stop her and he helps the others. And Ty and Izzy, or Ty and Matt, end up going into kind of this... Um, oh dream world that men was created that is like this entire like crystal world where like each of the different digi dustin that has you know kind of gone into these comas are and she has them in like their own little like own little dream world where they have their digimon and they live in their their memories like we see kari there and matt or tar kari and tk and we see um will well we don't see willis at that point in time but he's supposedly there we see uh, mako from the first movie with like makuman with her as a little kid so she's like reunited with that and ty and matt kind of have to struggle with the fact of because the more they make their digimon digival the faster agumon and gobblemon are going to go away and you know, so Ty and Matt are having this, uh, not like, um, problem with each other. They kind of had a little bit of a problem with each other in the beginning of it, but, and they kind of get over that, you know, it's, it's growing pains that they go through as, um, best friends and everything. And they're trying to decide if, you know, because the more they did evolve, the faster Agumon and Gobblemon are going to go away because the timer will run out faster. And, but they also need to save their friends. And it's Agumon and Gobumon that are basically like, no, we have to do this. We have to save our friends. It doesn't matter if it's going to cost us being together. We have to protect our friends. And we have to protect all these other Digidestin. And they do. They Digivolve again. And they're able to, you know, there's, you know Animon is fighting um, Eosmon, this fully evolved version of Eosmon, which is beautiful. And... Uh, Menowa uses the other digi dusting because she's kind of have them trapped in their own consciousness and she's kind of manipulating them and she uses of course you know their friends to try to pin down Ty and Matt to make them stop fighting and make them give in so they don't have to lose their Digimon because Menowa went through this already she doesn't want to watch other digi dusting lose their Digimon and um Menowa you know, you know, they're all pinned down by their friends, and Ty is able to grab the whistle that Kari has, of course, and he, you know, 
you know, blows into that and it snaps the others out of their um, kind of trance. And they're able to, you know, they're the, the other Digi Dustin and their Digimon are able to Digivolve to help. And Matt and Ty are actually able to, they <laughs> they get their 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 final Digivolution. You know, Omnimon was kind of knocked out, and you know he Digivolves back into you know D Digivolves back into you know Gobumon and Agumon or yeah and uh, Gobumon Agumon and Ty and Matt are like okay. We got one last shot at this. Everything. Last time. One last time. And, you know, Ty grabs Agumon's hand. Matt grabs Gabumon's hand. I don't remember if Ty and Matt grab hands, but they grab hands with their Digimon. And they do one last Digivolution. And Ty, uh, Agumon turns into, Agumon turns into Bond of Courage mode. And Gabumon turns into Bond of Friendship mode. And the two of them together are able to defeat Eosmon and help Menowa pull her, get her closure for her Digimon. So it will release her from this, you know, start to help her be released from this grief. And, you know, the others get, you know, the others are freed and all the other Digidestin all around the world, including their friends, of course, all wake up from where they were sleeping, from where they were in comas. And they're all okay. And then, unfortunately, we get the moment where, you know, Ty and Agumon are, you know, kind of looking out at the water at one point, and then Matt and Gabumon are somewhere else. It's, you know, them on their own with their Digimon, and <laughs> Ty and Agumon are talking, and Matt and Gabumon are talking, and, you know, I will not cry. I will not cry. Ty and Matt can cry, but I am not going to cry at this while I talk about this. I will not cry. Um, you know, they're you know they're like it's, they get to say goodbye to Agumon and Gabumon, their best friends. I will not cry, and <laughs> they get to say goodbye, and you know, you know they say goodbye, and you know. Agumon's like, well, what are we going to do tomorrow, Ty? And Ty's like, whatever. Whatever tomorrow will bring. I will not cry. I'm sorry. I, I get very emotionally invested in fictional characters. I'm sure some other people who have watched Digimon Adventure Try and The Last Evolution probably also cried. Because I cried when I was watching it. And it's very hard not to cry about when you're talking about it. And um, particularly it's like, yeah, I get very emotionally invested in fictional characters. Particularly ones that have been with me for, you know, 20, you know, 20 some years of my life. Um, in one shape or form. And, yeah, yeah, I cried. Um, if you're, it happens, it does, but what ends up happening is, you know, they say goodbye and we cut to, we cut to the next spring and Ty has decided that he is going to become a diplomat and Matt has decided that he wants to become an astronaut. And they are doing this under the belief that they will one day be able to see their partners again. And of course, if you've seen the end of the original Digimon Season 2, you know that of course they get to see their Digimon again because we cut to, at the end of the original um, Digimon uh, Adventure 2.0, we cut to 2027, um, so like six years from now, and we cut to all the kit, all the Digi Destined are all grown up, they all have their own careers, they all have their Digimon, and they all have their own kids and their own families, or their kids have their own Digimon. Ty became an ambassador, a diplomat to the UN to help Digimon between the relations between the Digimon and the digital world with Agumon as his partner. And he finally cut his hair, as expressed by Izzy. And he has his own son, 
who has a Coromon. Um, <laughs> quick thing over the relationships. Okay, so um, his parents, um, uh, Susumu and uh, Yuko um, Kamiya are his parents. Um, Yuko is, uh, Yuko is his mother. Um, Kari Kamiya is, of course, Tai's younger sister, and they have their cat, Miko. Um, he has a future family, which is his son. We are assuming that Tai got married. We don't know who. It obviously wasn't to Sora. Um, and then we have, um, Tai's mother is very supportive of him, um, is actually one of the most involved parents in the Digi-Destins. Um, I would say that Tai, or, uh, Matt and TK's father kind of gets to take the, t t take the cake as being one of the most involved, but... Ty's mother, Ty and Kari's mother, is very um, involved in that, and she encourages her children, and she's, um, there's a moment when the kids are at the school in uh, Digimon Adventure Try, and, um, you know, she had heard that they were home, but they weren't able to come home yet, because there's lots of animosity against Digimon, and the kids are kind of in hiding, and she, you know, all the kids call their parents, and she's, you know, she's just very encouraging to them, and I love that. Um, we of course have the relationship between Tai and Kari, which is a very, very strong bond. Um, he's very protective of Kari. Kari is also very, very protective of him. He also gets very mad at himself whenever Kari gets hurt, when it's his fault, even if it's his, not necessarily his fault. We see how much Kari, how much Tai means to Kari in Digimon Adventure Try when, you know, she thinks Tai is dead, and, you know, Nyaruman Dark Digivolves into, Corrupt Digivolves into, you know, a Fonimon falling down one, which of course resulted in Ardenim, Ardenimon, and we get all of that, as I mentioned. Um, Ty and Matt, best friends, but they fight at times, or DNA Digivolving partners. Um, Ty even encourages Sora at one point in season uh, Digimon 2.0 to tell Matt how she feels, because he's like, well, I think he's kind of, he still might have a crush on her, but he's kind of gotten not over it, but he's like, if Sora likes Matt, then let them be together. Let her be able to tell him how she feels, and I love that. Um, and he encourages that, and I just have a feeling that, you know, Ty was probably, well, <sighs> let's see. Ty got married, Matt would definitely be his, mess his best man, but um, Matt's best man, I don't know if, like, Matt's best man would have been TK or if it would have been Ty. I'm not sure. Um, but then we have, you know, Ty's relationship with Sora. They've known each other for so long. They've known the, uh, each other the longest out of the Digi Dustin. They were friends when they were kids. They were on the same soccer team and everything when they were kids. Um, you know, in the, our war games, or, well, in the digital world, the first time, you know, he's trying to save her. You know, he activates his crest in order to save Sora. Um, from Datamon, as I mentioned, uh, in the R War games, he, you know, he tries to get Sora to help him, you know, tr help fight against, you know, Tia Boromon, and that doesn't work because he, she's just annoyed at him. But they, you know, they, you know, he encourages her with Matt, um, Matt and Izzy, as I mentioned, uh, Matt, I or uh, uh, with uh, Izzy, as I mentioned, um, uh, Izzy sees Ty as his best friend. Um, he, uh, way back in the beginning, though, Ty did kind of mock Izzy a bit for his knowledge, but that changed, um, and he is very supportive of Izzy, uh, later on. Um, it, it takes a little bit, but it, uh, fairly quickly in the digital world, actually, he ends up kind of encouraging Izzy, uh, and he listens to Izzy quite a bit, and, you know, Ty and him have to work together, um, in order to, you know, defeat Machine Dramon, as I mentioned, uh, back when Kari was sick, you know, in the digital world, and they were trying to find medicine for her in Machine Dramon's realm, uh, Ty got very angry at Izzy because Izzy's unfortunately had resulted um, in some of the Digimon being able to try to find them uh, while they're trying to find the medicine. Uh, then we have um, Ty and Mimi. Um, Ty originally sees Mimi as a very fragile, path, uh, you know, pacifist, um, but he does trust her. Um, that relationship does grow quite a bit. Um, he considers Mimi a very important person, of course, on the team, just like he does with Sora and all the others. Um, he does go to her, um, for solace at times, because sometimes Mimi can be very blunt to us. Mimi is, of course, very sincere, and sometimes just blunt is what he needs. And Mimi is actually one of the ones who cheers him up after, um, he mistakenly digivolves Agumon into Skullgreymon. And she, of course, forgives him. 
at various points in time and part of their bond we see is um, way back in the original series when they find Mimi, when Joe and uh, Ty find Mimi at uh, Shogun Ge Gecko Mont's castle, um, he's kind of more than was a trusted convincer of like, okay, you have to come and be a Digi Dustin again. You can't just sit here and pretend to be a princess because you're not. And, you know, she, you know, kind of dealing with that helps her. Um, and, you know, Ty and Joe, um, not too much, you know, it's practical. Joe is very practical, know how, and Ty very much appreciates that at points in time. Um, very good at taking care of the team. You know, Joe's very good at that. Um, Ty and TK, uh, Ty, as I mentioned way back in the beginning of Adventure, he treated TK a lot like a younger brother because Ty, because, uh, Matt wasn't super able to take care of TK very well because they lived in separate households because their parents were divorced and TK lived with their mom and Matt lived with their dad. Um, but they learned, you know, Ty learned, you know, Ty and Matt learned to, you know, at one point Ty even trusts Matt in order to protect Kari when Ty goes off to try to um, find Godamon. And so that shows how much trust there is there. Uh, but Ty and uh, Ty and TK, Ty is always very good at taking care of TK. And later on in the you know, Adventure 2.0, when TK grows up, um, he's much more, you know, he's more, you know, he Ty puts a lot more trust in TK in those cases, which is very nice. Um, then we have uh, Davis in regards to that. We have uh, Davis is Ty's protege, um, trusts Davis to be the new leader of the Digi Destin, and they use this that. He gives, Ty even gives him his goggles. Um, you know, he, you know, kind of gives Davis advice at times and everything, but he also kind of like, you know, gives him a hard time as well um, at various points in time, which is kind of nice. Um, you know, he's, you know, he deals with that a lot. Um, he, you know, he sees Yoli and Cody both as very valuable members of the team. Um, he sees Yoli as a very excitable girl and Cody as like the straight man of the group. And then uh, Ty in regards to Ken, of course, Ken was originally an enemy as a Digimon Emperor, but Ty, um, after a little bit of time when Ken has proven himself, Ty is one of the ones that is willing to give uh, Ken a chance. And that works out quite well, of course, because, you know, Ty is, a, you know, Joe or Ken is very much a very valuable member of the team later on. And he um, helps him get over that problem of when he was the Digimon Emperor, that stress of that. And I very much like how they do that. Um, <laughs> and we have reached the end of this video. And it's actually taken me about two hours to record this. And I will be cutting out some snippets here and there and some bits. And hopefully it'll be a bit shorter. Um, so the next Digi Dustin will be Matt. Um, and then and I actually have a shirt for each one of the original Digi Dustins. So I'll be wearing those in each of the videos. Uh, this video is going to take quite a while to edit, but I am aware of that. So that's what we have for that. Um, Matt will be the next video um, from me and... For me and Coromon, <laughs> Coromon is actually a piggy bank. Um, I like a bunch of these. Um, Coromon. Um, uh, for me and Coromon, uh, and if I can get him up here, Omnimon. Um, from all of us, from all of me and my uh, Agumon line, um, I thank you very much for watching this video. Um, I know it was a bit of a while coming in regards to the people that were waiting for it, but. I'm, I'm starting on the Digimon stuff. I'm going to be interspersed with some other things, but mostly just Digimon for a little bit. Um, that's what we got. I thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you have a very nice rest of your day, and please don't judge me for the fact that, yes, I am very, very emotionally attached to fictional characters. <laughs> Bye. When you really care about someone more than you care about yourself, it's called love, and I know that comes from the heart.